In contrast to prokaryotic transcription, eukaryotic transcription is pretty different because in eukaryotes, while the mRNA is transcribing, while the mRNA is transcribed, at the same time, there are several modifications enzymes like splicing enzymes and gapping enzyme, which is acting upon the mRNA and it leads to modification of the ends of the mRNA, a M7G cap and a poly A tail. Now, in this video, we'll talk about the capping process at the 5' end of the eukaryotic mRNA. First part of the video, we'll focus on the mechanism of the 5' capping. And at the end of this video, we'll focus on the significance of the 5' capping and what are the physiological aspects and what are the importance of the 5' capping. So this is the structure of the M7G cap, which is like a guanine cap, which is methylated at the seventh residue. We all know that in eukaryotes, the eu transcription takes place inside the nucleus. So let's just dive right in the nucleus to understand the process better. The RNA polymerase move from a five prime to three prime direction, and the mRNA, which is transcribed, is hanging out from the RNA polymerase. Now there are several modification enzymes like splicing enzymes like capping enzymes which sits on the phosphorylated c terminal domain of the rna polymerase now these capping enzymes turns out to be very important in terms of uh, modifying the five prime end so they act on the five prime end now the capping enzyme is a complex of three different enzymes first the methyl transferase the triphosphatase and the guanyl transferase all these enzymes are important to make the 5' cap. So we'll look at the process of capping in a step-by-step -step manner. So the first step is to uh, take the 5' end of the growing mRNA proxim proximal to the region where the capping complex is sitting. And that happens by a DNA curling in mechanism. Then, first enzyme to act upon the 5' end of the growing RNA is the triphosphatase which chops off one phosphate group. Then guanyl transferase acts on the end and it transfer the guanine to the end of the RNA at the 5' end. Now the last enzyme, the methyl transferase, transfers a 5 a, 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 methyl uh, group at the seventh position of the guanine. So this is the process of formation of the M7G cap. Now we should try to understand what is the significance of this capping process. It turns out the M7G cap protects the RNA from any kind of nuclease attack, mostly than exonucleus attack. Now M7G cap also interacts with the eukaryotic translation initiation factors like initiation factor 4E and 4G which in turn coordinate with polyadenylation binding protein to hold the mRNA in a circular form such that several ribosomes can translate the mRNA simultaneously and enhance the rate of translation. So this capping process has important role in terms of translation as well. Now, M7G cap helps the nuclear export of the RNA, mRNA because it is the M7G cap which interacts with TREX, SR, or EGSA proteins, protein complex, and then all of these complex directed towards the exporting, and that helps the mRNA to be exported out into the cytoplasm. And in the cytoplasm, when it is exported out, it can sit on the ribosomes and it could be translated now this capping process is very well understood by the virus they understand this basic and fundamental host machinery to use them for their own welfare it turns out they play a nasty trick called cap snatching now influenza virus is a negative stranded rna virus so it's inject it 
uh, genetic material which is a negative stranded RNA but it is not detected by the host ribosomes because host ribosome cannot detect a negative strand RNA right and it cannot be transcribed at that format so it has to uh, convert it into positive strand RNA but still there is a problem these positive strand RNA don't have the cap and in case of eukaryote the cap is important for translate translation right so it somehow has to acquire the cap and it turns out several proteins which are associated with the viral polymerase help to cleave some portion of the host cap and put it on the viral mrna and now when it is exported into the cytoplasm it can sit on the ribosome just like a host rna and it can be translated that's how rna virus understand the fundamental mechanism and hijack it in for their own survival so these are the whole uh, concept about the five prime capping and i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe and do let me know how you like my video in the comments thank you